festively delicious. <laughs> mm. promised you another little Christmas treat here Christmas reindeer crack and uh, yeah you can really get addicted to this crack believe me so it's a pretty simple recipe and I think you can use some variations to it um, but pretty much what it is it's a whole bunch of different uh, things of your favorite snacks and then you're gonna melt some chocolate to put over it now you can either get the big blocks of white chocolate. In this case, we've got uh, chocolate chip morsels. We bought a couple bags of those because we couldn't find the chunk. A brick. It's called a brick. A I brick. couldn't find it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do we got there for the recipe? Well, actually, this is not our recipe where we do have to give credit to. It's at myincrediblerecipes.com slash Christmas Reindeer Crack. I saw it on Facebook. Itchy and I made it and we just loved it. So now we're gonna share it with you, how we put it together. I think I ate most of it when it went all boiled down to. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. All right, let's get started. Okay. Okay, what we have going on here is like a, what do they call this? A double, double boiler. A double boiler, so. Uh, we got a big pan with water in here boiling. We got the flame on under there. And then we've got this uh, smaller pan setting on top so it doesn't go in there. And we're going to add our uh, ch chocolate uh, morsels. And then those are going to uh, melt down. So this might take a little while. We'll get this going first and uh, come back once that melts then we can go on with step uh, step C. So this is the first thing you want to do is get your chocolate melting in a double boiler. Don't put the chocolate right on the flame because it will surely uh, burn very quickly. Okay. All right, we need three cups of pretzels. And these two. are just the mini salted pretzels yep. that we use. Two cups of bugles. I'll get tired of this cup and just start pouring. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be really accurate. No. Whatever you like. Two cups of Fritos. Uh -oh. And a cup of Chex Mix. Just a little bit more for good measure. Mm. A cup of roasted peanuts. How about a little more peanuts? Sure, go ahead. I like peanuts. I'll put another quarter cup in there. Yeah. We're not going to measure M&M's because it says one and a half cups. Who doesn't like M&M's? The whole bag's Ooh, going in. Yummy. The whole bag of M&M's in there. So. And now we mix that up. Blend all that together. And that'll be ready uh, for the chocolate, which we'll do. Chocolate is just starting to melt. Once it goes, it, it goes pretty quickly here, so um, it's just getting started here. You see it's getting a little goopy there down in the bottom, but we'll give it a few more minutes. All right, our chocolate is melted very nicely, nice and creamy. That's the way you want it. No chunks left in there. And now we're ready to pour that mess over top of this mess.
their water on the bottom. Yes. And I am going to using the spatula to get it all scraped out of there. You want to work a little quick with this. Now the chocolate is really, really hot. It'll burn you. You don't want to get it on you. And it can be a little awkward. You may need some help with this. I'm holding this pan up with my hand, but uh, yeah, if you get somebody to hold it for you while you scrape the chocolate out, that'd be good. Okay. Then, <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to need a spoon rather than this spatula because it's too rubbery. And I got this uh, spoon, and I'll just start mixing this stuff up here until it's all pretty well blended. Big old goopy mess. Get everything well coated. Scoop it. Make sure you get down to the bottom of the barrel there. Bring all that goodness up. Look at that. Now it looks like a big old tarry, messy goo. It reminds me of Rice Krispie Squares. It is kind of like rice, making Rice Krispie Squares. Very similar. Okay, scoot that right over here. Now we've got a big baking sheet, and we've got it covered with uh, uh, some uh, wax, paper. wax paper. And what I'm going to do is just dump this whole bucket right on top of there. Get it all, all the goodness scraped out of there. And again, keep working. Don't dilly dally because the chocolate wants to set up pretty quickly. You gotta spread this out thin. Okay, we got all that out of there. And then we're gonna just spread this out evenly on the cookie sheet and let it cool. If you got a, you know, sunroom or someplace cool, you can set it out there or just, you know, let it, put it in a cool uh, back room or or just let it sit out until it until it gets to room temperature. And you don't have to crush it down. I'm just you know kind of getting it spread out evenly here. And there you go. And we're just going to let that chocolate cool down. When the chocolate cools, it will it will harden up. Well, our Christmas crack has set up nicely now, <clears throat> and that's the easy part. Just break it up and put it into a container. You can put it in a Ziploc bag if you want, a contain, plastic container like this. Break it up into little chunks. You can leave it in big chunks, however you like to eat it. I guarantee you... Whatever you do, it's not going to last very long, because it'll get eaten. Oh, look at that. It is so I good. I mean, just a big old chunk of <laughs> deliciousness, ready to eat. I think we're going to need a bigger container. I think you're right. Or whatever doesn't fit, we eat. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, if it doesn't fit in a container, I'll finish it off. <laughs> Trust me, I have so many containers. Alright, just that easy. Now one thing I will remind you of, um, melting the chocolate can be pretty critical. I recommend getting the... Uh, Baker's chocolate that you melt. The white chocolate works very well. We tried using chocolate uh, M&M &M or ch chocolate chips, the chocolate ones. <clears throat> that didn't work so well. Uh, that chocolate doesn't melt like the white chocolate, so. It'll be addictive. There you go. Christmas cracked. Christmassy delicious. Festively delicious. <laughs> mm. 
once you get started <laughs> addicting. Can you overdose? <laughs> I don't know.